Hey everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats, and in this week's video we're talking about air purifiers. What are the best air purifiers for people who have cats? So, let's jump into it. So there are a number of reasons why you might want to get an air purifier if you have a cat. Perhaps you are allergic and you have a cat. Well, in that case, an air purifier can help a lot. Also, cats can produce some odors around the litter box. An air purifier can help out a lot with that. And then for anyone who has a cat who sheds, an air purifier can help to capture some of that hair and allow you to spend less time cleaning up hair off of surfaces around your home. So I think those are the three main reasons why you would want to get an air purifier uh, if you have a cat. And then of course, air purifiers can generally um, be a nice addition to the home regardless of if you have a cat or not. They can help to just freshen up the air. When you're looking for an air purifier and you have a cat in the home, your Requirements are going to be pretty much the same as those of anyone who's looking for a good air purifier. Specifically, you're going to be looking for good particle filtration. This means that you should generally be looking for an air purifier that has a HEPA filter. So HEPA filters are kind of the industry standard when it comes to particle filtration. Uh, they're made to filter out 99.97% of particles, sized down to 3 tenths of a micron. And so that's going to capture your dander, all of those small particles that could cause problems in the home's air. You're also going to want uh, to have some good odor filtration. So something with a nice carbon filter or other form of odor filter is going to be a must. And then finally, you need that air purifier to be efficient enough to actually filter the air in the room in which it's placed. So if you have a larger room, you're going to need to have a bit more power. You're looking for something that is capable of filtering the air in the entire room three to five times per hour. So you should have a combination of good filtration and a good fan system uh, in order to be able to have the desired number of air exchanges each hour. So in order to find uh, what appear to be the best uh, air purifiers for people with cats, I did a combination of things. So I spent several hours researching the air purifier marketplace. I read a lot of reviews and I tested out these air purifiers in my home. So over the last few weeks, I've had these air purifiers uh, around the house and I've been doing a subjective analysis. So luckily I got to try out these air purifiers in the middle of fire season. So I got to have these air purifiers running and I got to observe how well they kind of purified the air as well as doing other more cat specific uh, air purification duties. And I'm pleased to report every single one of these air purifiers, with the exception of the little bitty uh, purified air, which primarily focuses on litter box odor, every one of them was able to help out with the smoke. Um, so if you're dealing with smoke in addition to uh, those cat specific issues, all of these purifiers are going to be good options. So let's jump into our first recommendation. So my number one recommendation is the Winix 5500-2. This is an air purifier that combines all of the basic features we're looking for into a package that's relatively economical. Overall, it seems to be a very well-regarded air purifier. So this purifier has that basic HEPA filter, so that's going to capture the particles that you need captured. It has a washable pre-filter to protect that from any larger particles. And then you have a carbon pellet uh, filter. So that's going to neutralize those odors. In addition to these basic features, it also has an ionizer. Again, this is kind of controversial. Not everyone's going to want to use an ionizer, but uh, we do know from Winix that this purifier is not supposed to produce dangerous levels of ozone, and also you can turn that plasma wave mode on or off uh, depending on whether you want to use the ionizer. So it's not a necessary part of the air purifier. So this air purifier is recommended for rooms measuring about 360 square feet, and it cleans roughly 250 cubic feet per minute. The purifier has uh, a few nice little buttons on the top that make it pretty easy to change your settings. So you're able to set it to auto mode. It's going to have a little uh, bar that shows you the air purity level in the room. It has a timer so you can set it to run for one, four, or eight hours at a time. And it also has four speed settings. So if you want to switch it out of auto mode, you can bump it up all the way to the top speed or run it at the lowest speed or anywhere in between. I found that the noise levels of this uh, air purifier were moderate, uh, so I didn't notice it being particularly bothersome when it was running in the house. And according to my little sound meter app, uh, it sound ranged from about 34 decibels at the lowest setting up to 
around 61 decibels at the highest setting. So at the highest setting, it is a little bit louder than some of the other air purifiers we'll be looking at today, but it has a relatively nice range. And it overall, I would say that the sound is about moderate. So at $249 with a two-year warranty, this seems like a pretty economical air purifier. You can easily find replacement filters. They tend to last for a pretty long time, and these are also pretty affordable. So this is what seems to be a pretty good long-term investment. And my next recommendation, our runner-up or perhaps the best air purifier for larger rooms, is going to be the Blue Air Blue Pure 211 Plus. And the 211 Plus uh, is a little bit different from the others on this list. Firstly, in the sense that it looks a bit different. So it has this uh, fabric pre-filter that's exposed on the outside of the purifier. So when stuff gets stuck to it, you're going to know. Uh, and then it doesn't have a HEPA filter. Instead, it has this HEPA silent filter. However, although you'll often hear the recommendation that only a HEPA filter is an appropriate option, it seems that this HEPA silent filter is able to efficiently clean air. So it's charging particles to make them more sticky and making it easier for the whole system to capture those particles. In addition to that, HEPA silent filter, which is not a HEPA filter. It also has a carbon filter built into it, and so that's going to help to neutralize odors. And according to the reviews that I've read, according to the analyses that I've looked at, this does seem to be a very efficient and effective air purifier. So not only is that air moving quickly through it, it's also managing to clean the air quite effectively. So it manages to have a clean air delivery rate of about 350 cubic feet per minute, which is pretty high, and it's rated for rooms measuring up to about 540 square feet. Now this purifier only has one button and three settings, so you just press that button, move it from low to medium to high speed. That's pretty much all that button does besides create light. Um, so it is going to dim a little bit after seven seconds, but it never turns off. So if you have this running in your room at night, there is going to be a bit of a glow. As for noise levels, this air purifier is a little bit noisier at its lowest setting than some of the other air purifiers we looked at here. Um, but you have to remember that a lot more air is passing through. So it seems that considering the higher uh, rate of airflow, it seems to be relatively quiet. So we're looking at a range of about 44 decibels, according to my test, up to about 55 decibels at the highest level. So it does get kind of noisy at the highest level, um, but overall uh, relatively quiet given the performance. So this air purifier costs $299 and replacement filters cost $69.99, so a little bit more expensive, but remember this is a combo filter. So it's both the carbon filter and that HEPA silent filter. You're going to change this between once and twice a year. The Blue Air Blue Pur Purifier is covered by a one-year warranty. My next recommendation is going to be of particular interest if your primary focus is odor control. So instead of using a carbon filter like most other air purifiers, the EnviroCleanse Purifier has a proprietary filter that contains these minerals that are able to uh, capture, neutralize, and destroy odor causing compounds. There's no chance of off gassing like you would experience with a carbon filter. So uh, the odors are completely gone uh, once they get into the filter. So that's really interesting. And according to test results, the EnviroCleanse purifier really did a better job than the competition in terms of uh, eliminating these volatile organic compounds from the air. So it performed better in removing things like ammonia, which is a major contributor to the smell of cat urine. Uh, as well as formaldehyde, which is a component of cigarette smoke smell um, from the air. So if you're dealing with these types of odors, then something like the EnviroCleanse is probably going to outperform uh, the competition. Another thing worth noting is that the purifier contains a HEPA filter, but this HEPA filter is significantly thicker than a HEPA filter you'll see in other air purifiers. And so this is intended to help it to capture more particulate matter, uh, and it's also supposed to make that air filter uh, last for longer. The air purifier's clean air delivery rate is about 300 cubic feet per minute, um, so it's kind of on par with most of the other air purifiers we're looking at here. So as for how this air purifier works, again, it, it just looks like this big white box. You turn it around, there's a knob at the back, that's how you're going to adjust the speed. So you have four speed settings. Um, 
my uh, sound meter found that it was about uh, 42 decibels at the lowest setting, um, and then that sound went up to about 63 decibels at the highest setting. Aside from the operation of this air purifier, a couple of other observations. I definitely had a subjective experience of this air purifier reducing the amount of odor in the home. I had a family member comment on it. As soon as I started running it, uh, we noticed that there was less food smell uh, after we had been cooking. So it definitely seemed that the air smelled better when this air purifier was running in the home. So the EnviroCleanse air purifier costs $699. You can also get a more expensive model uh, that includes a UV light. You might remember that I mentioned UV lights and how they typically don't work all that well in air purifiers. This one is different. It actually exposes the particles to that UV light for a long enough period of time. Uh, everything in the HEPA filter gets continually exposed to that UV light. So it actually is able to destroy anything that is uh, exposed to that light on the HEPA filter. So if you're interested in that, you can upgrade to that one. Uh, but the $699 one is the one that I'm looking at today. Also, your purifier is covered by their five-year warranty. My next recommendation is also focused on odor, but this is going to be specific to litter box odor. So the purified air is a bit different from the other ones on this list. It looks a bit like a little styrofoam takeout box, and it is intended to be propped on top of a covered litter box or mounted on the wall above any litter box. And it is specifically intended to filter out litter box odor. So this purifier has a little fan and then it has a pre-filter and then it has a little pack of odor uh, filtration media. So this is a 2.2 pound bag of activated carbon, zeolite, and negative ion balls. And altogether these are intended to neutralize both ammonia and fecal odors uh, that are coming from your cat's litter box. The pre-filter is also treated with catechin, which is a compound from green tea that is intended to have some antimicrobial benefits. Instead of mounting it onto a covered litter box or mounting it on the wall, I honestly, I just propped it on the side of my cat's litter box. I wasn't sure how well it would work, but within the first day, I was very surprised by the results. This little air purifier really works um, to eliminate litter box odor. So at the time I was using uh, Oco Cat Litter and this was a new product for me that I was testing out. It really doesn't work all that well, but the purified air completely eradicated uh, the odor in the litter box. Um, it sounds a bit dramatic to talk about it, but uh, it was extremely noticeable to everyone in the house. We were really excited to notice this. Um, and overall, I was, I was just very impressed by this product. Very interesting. So this little air purifier, again, it's very simple. It just has a fan. It has this um, little sack of odor neutralizing media, and then it plugs into your wall and it starts running. You have a little knob that you're going to turn in order to turn up the fan. The sound ranges from about 37 decibels to 58 decibels, again, according to my sound meter. Um, I thought that my cats would be bothered by the sound. They seemed okay with it. Um, especially at the lowest setting, it's not really that noticeable. Overall, if you are interested in an air purifier specifically for the litter box area, something that you can mount on top of a litter box um, or in the area of the litter box and which is in specifically intended to target those odors that are coming out of the box, then the purified air doesn't seem to have any equal. This purifier costs $139.99 and you have a lifetime guarantee on the fan. So if anything goes wrong with the fan, you can contact the company and get it sorted out for free. My next recommendation might be a good option if you are allergic to cats. Uh, it is the IQ Air Health Pro Plus. This is a big clunker of an air purifier, but it has some features that set it apart. So this is a very well-regarded company. The purifier itself is Swiss made. It's known for being a very well sealed air purifier. It's built with a hyper HEPA filter, which is intended to capture 99.5% of particles as small as three thousandths of a micron. And then in addition to this HEPA filter, the purifier contains an odor filter, which features a combination of activated carbon and impregnated activated alumina or aluminum oxide. On top of the purifier, you get several controls. So you have six different speed settings, sets it apart from the other purifiers here, which max out at four settings. So you have a fair amount of flexibility in how this air purifier is running. 
So depending on if you have severe allergies, you need it to be running at high speed or the size of your room as well. You're able to adjust those settings um, so that it works for you. You also get a lot of nice information on that display. So you're able to monitor your filter life. Uh, you're able to set up um, timers. You're able to adjust time settings per day of the week. Um, so you're able to really uh, fine tune the way that this air purifier is running in your home. According to my sound meter app, the IQ Air Health Pro Plus ranges from about uh, 38 decibels at the lowest setting up to 63 at the highest. Uh, so it does get relatively loud at the highest setting, uh, but you can also really turn that sound level down if necessary. So overall, um, if you are someone who's really serious about getting all of those particles out of the air and you want a very well constructed uh, unit that has a good reputation, then the IQ Air Health Pro Plus could be a good option for you. Now it is expensive. Uh, it costs $899. Again, this seems to be a well-constructed, well-built uh, air purifier that should last you for quite some time. And you do get a 10-year warranty. Finally, uh, my next recommendation is going to be what I would consider to be the most user-friendly of these air purifiers. So it's the Allen Breathe Smart Classic. This purifier has three stages of filtration. So you have a pre-filter, you have a HEPA filter, and then you have an odor filter. So it has a clean air delivery rate of about 300 uh, cubic feet per minute. Uh, so again, kind of in line with the other air purifiers shown here. You have four speed settings, so you're able to adjust what kind of speed you uh, want it to run at. Uh, so that's going to vary depending on the size of your room and how much uh, contamination you think is in the air at any given time. If you would rather not think about that, you can set it to auto mode and this is going to automatically detect the pollution in the air and then change the speed accordingly. Like the Winix purifier recommended as our top pick, it has a color changing light that's going to show you roughly the contamination level in the room. Uh, so it's going to change to blue when the air is deemed clean, move up to kind of an orange shade uh, if there's moderate levels of contamination, uh, and then you're going to move up to red for higher levels of pollution. Uh, it also has an ionizer feature like the Winix purifier. Again, it's not supposed to produce harmful levels of ozone, but again, there's uh, a potential level of risk with this, so it might not be something that you're interested in using, but fortunately, you can always uh, turn it on or off as you wish. Interestingly, the Allen Breathe Smart Classic is the quietest of these air purifiers at its highest setting. So it ranges from my test between 40 decibels at the lowest setting and 50 decibels at the highest setting. So even when you crank it all the way up to the highest setting, it's still a bit quieter than the other purifiers here. And that doesn't mean that it's any less powerful. Again, this seems to be just as powerful as most of the other air purifiers shown here. It's going to be appropriate for large rooms. It's an effective air purifier. So right now I'm running this on the highest setting um, and it's pretty easy to hear me speaking. Um, it's not really a noticeable noise in the room. Also, Alan says that this air purifier generates pink noise, which they say is going to help you to sleep more comfortably with this purifier running in the room. At night, you can turn off the lights on the display, so it'll go dim, making it more comfortable to have in your bedroom at night. Just a couple more reasons why I'm listing this as the most user-friendly of the air purifiers shown here. So the purifier is on the expensive side at $629, definitely not cheap, um, but you are covered by a lifetime warranty from Allen, so that's a nice touch. So that's about it for my review of these air purifiers. If you don't want to invest in one of these air purifiers, uh, you can make one of your own. There are plenty of good tutorials on how to do this available on YouTube, so I'll put a few links in the description to help you do that. This type of purifier, again, is going to be much more economical. Uh, than purchasing one of these. It doesn't come with all the bells and whistles, but if you're in a pinch, it can certainly work. But other than that, uh, again, I think that's about it for my review of these purifiers. Um, again, I will put links in the description to all of the purifiers mentioned here, as well as some additional reviews that go in depth on each of these purifiers and show you some more uh, rigorous testing of each of them so that you can get a better idea of how they really work under controlled conditions.
So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped. Um, if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more uh, buyer's guides, product reviews, and information on all things cats, please feel free to subscribe to the All About Cats channel. At any rate, thank you again, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.